We're in Dodger 455, coming to you live just outside the Dodger garage. I'm working on my deck project, and <clears throat> I want to show you guys a few tips. Uh, if you're working by yourself, or if you're putting these smaller ones, uh, these smaller joists, these can be a real hassle to try to hold up there in place and try to get screws in them, uh, you know, for your joist hangers. And by the way, on your joist hangers, please use the Simpson screws. Uh, don't use nails. The nails are just harder. Uh, the screws hold better and uh, they're made specifically for hangers, so it's great. So, use a heavy duty bracket, put that on top of your joist so it keeps it flush with the top. You don't care about the bottom, whatever hangs over, doesn't matter. You don't want your deck boards. In this case, we're putting tracks on everything. We don't want any humps in there. This keeps them all flush. And then leave that little bit hanging over so it catches the lip of your beam. Put your deck made screw in to hold the joist in place uh, on both sides. Now, I have a screw in the back of this, so I don't need one on top. Uh, make sure it's plumb, it's good to go. Buy one of these, these little clamps. You can get them anywhere, they're plastic. Uh, they don't cost much, but they hold your hold your bracket together. And then when you slide it up under there, it'll stay on there. So you squeeze it out a little bit, put it back up, it's on. Both sides are flush, ready to go for screws. Put a couple of screws in it, pull them off. And once you get them out, take your brackets off, move to the next one. If you did like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notifications. This is Dodger 455. Be careful out there.